Oh, there's Jamie, people. Got the muscle today. So welcome to another episode in our Barney family YouTube and Facebook. And because we've had the cold, I'm just so far behind with just about absolutely everything. You'll hear the generator running down there. But the problem we're having is that the lorry is pretty much stuck in the field. I'll show you a little bit later, but I can't get her in and out just now. So, here's the solution. This is going to be good. Look at this lovely cup of coffee for me and Luke. Check out Jamie. Yoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hi, I've got, as, as you, some of you might know, I've got two hernias, you guys. So, I get in a lot of trouble for lifting. Now, because I've had the coldest past couple of weeks, I'm trying to catch up on all these jobs now, but this is the problem that we're having. That's why it started before that got the cold. But as you'll see down here, look. I mean, the Aspas or the Landro are easy peasy over there, but with Jessica, because she's seven and a half tenner, you don't have a video that at least a wee while of Herbie in it. We'll just go and see them real quick before we get going. But yes, yeah, so it's pretty much winter time here in Scotland. And as you can see, the grass is kind of gone. And he's not getting the goodness out of it. So at midday, he's getting a wee bale here in your son. Yeah, it's a good boy. Right, so we've popped up bits down there and we're just warming Jessica up now. So we're going to have a go at it. Try and get her out of this field without getting stuck again. So let's see if I can at least get this lined up. Like, that's quite high for the tyres. I'm, I'm not sure how this is going to actually go. No, stop, stop. Dates, yeah, stop, stop, stop. Open it again. Nope. <laughs> hey, miles off. No, holy. <laughs> I got the beat today off. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, you've got to go through the fence? No. Yeah, so that's definitely pushed across a wee bit. Now it's getting her out in the field, that'll be the funny one. So I'm not kidding you guys, for all the expensive toys that we think we have in the Western world, I was watching how the guys in Columbia in the rainforest get their lorries out. And you know something guys, it's a long fence post with chain wrapped around it. And they've been in between the wheels like that and they get out of just about anything. And we've got our 1500 quid, we've got our 1500 pound which is up there. Yeah, I know it's not pretty but it worked. As long as it works, it definitely, definitely works. Look, we just snapped one of them off. I'll have to watch there's no nails under that one, is there? No, fine. No, it must be a screw, I think. Alright. Ah, well, that'll just do for now. Yeah, we're basically spending quite a bit of time with Herbie, but we'll get back to the lorry video, no problemo. Yeah, so not getting a bit of focus there. I'm watching Big Timber just to get the old uh, creative juices flowing, you know, a bit of hard work. But yeah, so just back to this diagram that we've got here, guys. Look, this is what I'm trying to construct inside the back of the lorry. So this is the idea I've kind of got for a light bar on the lorry, look, and that's about 2.4 like that. And these babies are for the sides, look. They're actually like number plate holders. But I'm going to use them on the side of the lorry, you know, up top to put on big floodlights so they come down the side of the lorry as well. But first, guys, a little bit of bacon to get the day going. Yeah, so cutting off the majority of the old fat, guys, look. There we go. So just the bacon itself. Low and saturates diet, people. There we go, so just getting our started for the day. We'll just give it a really, really, really good warm up, eh? Yeah, so worked on the way out, but not really so much on the way in. I have to rethink a little bit of a ramp or something just to get it up over that bit. But hopefully, guys, as you can see, we really need to get some rocks in there and stuff. It's just, it's just not happening. Yeah, so just giving Herbs his morning treat day, Herbie boy, before we get going. Yeah, good boy. A good boy. And young Herbie's blocking my way to get the big back door down. Hey Herbie boy, but he's so good. Let's see if we can get him to move. Yeah, so guys, big plan obviously is red cab, bull bars, top lights, down lights, uh, silver underrun, silver peels, BF Goodridge, tools underneath, dark grey, and this is going to be our wild camping 
motorbike horse quad bike lot. Right, so guys, I am needing this video for Thursday and it's kind of Wednesday lunchtime at the moment. So I'm just going to see how much I can actually get done. We obviously got this, this all done, which was great. But um, this is it. This is the tool station I was going to put in today with this. Now I'm using pretty thick ply for the toolboxes because this lorry rolls around quite a lot. So this has got to be pretty solid, I would say. Eh? Because that toolbox is heavy. That one's okay, but that one's really heavy. So guys, this is how it's done if you don't have the sort of real quality equipment. Circular saw is way too light for Herbie. Look, we're right next to them, and that's, that's absolutely no use. But basically what you do is, guys, you measure out, see, to 500, and then give it a little cut, and you leave the jigsaw in, just like I've done there, and pull your wood against it and clamp them down. It's not foolproof. You can't sort of push hard against the wood when you're not using you know, the proper tools for the job, but this gets it done because we need these to be pretty square guys, you know. Yeah, these sort of less expensive um, jigsaws and that, you know, that sometimes it's a bit of a struggle to cut, you know, real straight and this is why I'm doing this, just to try and make sure we got a really, really good cut. Yeah, so there we go. Now, you may be wondering why it's actually quite, you know, sort of deep, considering that black toolbox isn't. But what I need to do is fit a chemical toilet under there and I want that up high. And yes, that is a very high workbench, but you'll see it all come together, I'm sure. The other thing we have to watch doing this job is that, you know, we can't really use spirit levels as such because we're sitting on a hill, possibly to the left-hand side a little bit. So the best way to do these things is to measure off the walls. Now, they might not be square, but at least they're going to be a lot closer than they would be if we were just going with spirit levels. Now, this is just a bit of cost saving. You'll see that it doesn't quite fit, but that doesn't matter because there's a worktop to go on top of that. But I'm using some of the scrap weed that we've got now. Obviously, with the new plywood, just because this is then going to be pretty heavy in the end, you know. Um, but as for bits like that, we're not really going to see it, doesn't matter. That's really strong, old, like 10 mil ply. But this toolbox here has to reach up there. It's going to be really high, right up there. So we need to put in a shelf. But, you know, a shelf just with screws either side, that's not going to cut it. We've got to put on battens underneath as well. And that will hold that thing good. Right, so to cut that button in half, that'll be absolutely great. That's really, really strong. This is why we do our notes, guys. Look. Oh, you can't see, can you? Just terrible light. Anyway, the, the ones that go on underneath there, there's a two or three models that are really, really good. You know, I'm sure they'll be around and they'll still fit and all that sort of stuff. But I need to raise this right up to be able to get a chemical toilet under there. So, guys, basically, slight change of plans. You see that? Thin stuff I thought maybe wasn't all that good. Well, you can't see it, can you? That's going to save a lot in weight, and that is strong. You know, with the big buttons underneath there, like. But do we have that thing flush? Yes, there's no point in arguing about it. It'll just look much better flush, wouldn't it? Yeah, we might have to leave a bit of rim, guys, but just come on, imagine it. Light grey, all the way around like that. Lovely wee door at the bottom. And that's obviously where we'll slide the chemical toilet in. I wonder if we should just leave this bit just now, because. We need to cut little checks out of it. You'll see the, the metal going across the back there. I'm going to have to cut checks so we can move it right in tight. And obviously it's not going to sit there. It's going to be kind of more over here. You know, because that's where the next part's going to come in. Because I've got two big motorbikes to fit in here. That I do. Yeah, so the idea with this lorry is, guys, instead of having like 10 grinder discs of stock, we're just going to have a couple of grinder discs, you know what I mean? The same again, you know, the duct tape and the tie straps, welding rods, all the stuff that we've got in there. And again, just to save on weight, I think we're saving a lot because we're turning onto this stuff here. I think that's really, this is going to really work for us. I think once the chest toolbox, you know, that is actually up on top of the surface, which is going to be over there. It is going to be a bit high, but it's nothing major, you know, absolutely nothing major at all. Should look good. It's either that, guys, or we just go for a lower one, you know? But the thing I'm really wanting is storage space. This is the bit that I always fall back on when I'm designing stuff. It's actually even enough for storage, you know? You're being so tight, tight, tight. But no, I think um, oh, we'll just have to make it up as we go along, as always, guys. Right, we are going really, really good here. Better than I thought, actually. You know that? And I was just thinking, you know, I've got to get our motorbikes in here, right? We've got a big game um, Honda 900 uh, Fireblade and we've got the 1200 Bandito, both of which needs to fit in here, which I think is, you know, is doable. That has to go back even further, but what I need is the length. 
and I'm just actually wondering, you know, if we put in quite a narrow workbench up on here like that. Sorry, a narrow sort of trunk going across there like that and have the workbench come out higher because that's what the bikes need. Because once you get up to here, you've got the handlebars. Yeah, this is going to work. I'm just trying to figure out, I mean, we need like an L-shaped worktop out of this part here. Which I don't think, I'll try and get, I'm sure, just that one sheet, you know. Just make it as one solid sheet to go on. Because then you've got, you know, once you screw it all around, boy, it'll be nice and tight. You know? Yeah, so on this one, I wanted to lift it up, you know, to have it a little bit higher. Because it will look so much better if I do that. Um, but you know something, I think I'm going to hit this treated wood, you know, to build the frame around the bottom area. I think that's going to work. So this is good, this is what you get for using recycled wood, you know, it's not quite the length I'd like it to be. I might be able to find another one, but if I get another length just like that, I can use that as our base for this next section. Looking really good guys, look at that. Try to save on weights, so you'll see just in between I put in the big buttons all the way across that just to give it a really good surface. And of course, you know, when we put on little um, brackets just to hold that to the floor, once we get that big boy we done over and screwed back on, this whole thing should be really, really good. As you can see guys, sun's going down a bit. Young Henry's taking full advantage of being across here. He's going to enjoy this bit for a while. But yeah, we're getting there slowly but surely. And there we are guys, just what I wanted it to do, Luke, to take that, which is a 600 long toolbox, and that's a 600 long uh, joinery bag, and I was about to try and get them in there as well. This is the great thing about doing this, guys, you know, you can just get it exactly the way you want it for your needs, you know. Boy, we're looking good, I'm really happy with this. I couldn't get the legs, uh, the, the wheels off of this toolbox here, so I'm just going to have to cut them off the grinder, I think. And then we'll get it stationed up there. And what we're going to need to do... I'll keep filling this video up with really useful information hopefully but you see the those side bits have got to be 20 mil ply so we'll have one in there that's absolutely static but the one we've got here i'm going to make sure we leave enough so if we ever have to replace this thing i can jump it across slightly and you know just shave the door that's here and bang we're done you know but yeah that's still got to go into the wall a good bit more yet which is good and once this is actually up and over there, it should be quite easy. And there's the big man himself. The one that's causing all the fussy, Herbie boy. Ah, it's just nice and cool just now, so it's really great, because it is winter in Scotland. So it's really cool just to get his jacket off and give him a break. Yeah, and of course, when you take his jacket off, you need to give him a brush and that, you know, but ah, I can just leave him to it. Hey, darling, me and Ems will brush you tonight before we put your coat on again. Because it is going to rain. Good boy. Look at this, guys. He's just my darling. Yeah, we'll look at him and his nice fat belly. Now, um, Herbie's actually a thoroughbred, so you always see his ribs to a certain degree. But it's this plump look, this is what we need to have him. Fat reserves. Hey, Herbie boy, till the springtime comes back in. Right, so now these uprights we're going to have to do is basically going to be from the measurement there, see right there, right up to there. Oh, sorry guys, dear me. Uh, right up to there, that's going to be our sections for going this way. And then we can get another piece like that on the top. Oh, we're losing light fast now, guys. Look, the sun's just popped away. And then it starts to feel cold again. Done it, heavy boy. So I've got his other jacket on tonight. Eh? We'll switch on to that older jacket, but it's really thick and warm for him. But Doc, just for information, guys, you see, this is really important for Herbie. We give him his uh, supplements and all sorts in the morning, eh, Herbie boy? And obviously, hey. And I've been doing this thing now where I have let him have some hay in the afternoon as well. And we'll just get that fat reserve stored up for the coming colder, eh, heavy boy? Oh, day, guys, this is just another member of the family now, I'm telling you. Eh, I'm a big boy helping me out, eh? I've still got to do all your poops. So let's see, guys, I think, you know, I'm just back and forth a little bit, you know. Maybe not as high with that part, maybe have it a little bit lower, eh? And that'll give us that corner bit extra maybe. Don't know, don't know. We'll just figure out as we go along. That's what's always good with these jobs. Yeah, so sitting in the lorry, just having a little bit of supper, guys. Still got to get home, obviously, and have it properly, but it's starting to get really cold. There's just no clouds tonight, so it's going to be pretty frosty, I think. So I'll zip in here and get a heat and get some food at the same time. Yeah, how's that for a bit of light? I'm actually thinking about using, like, this one on the right-hand side up there, and that one on that side over there for outside goodness me god that'll just be fantastic but they do use a lot of electricity you know they 
you can hear the generator. Hold on, see if I can get it for you. Hear the generator going. And if I switch on this fan, so you can hear the generator now, listen. Put this switch. See that? Yeah, so again, this is a major, major cost saving, you know, just using these from the shed. I might not clean that off, I don't know. But uh, we've only got six. And I don't think that's going to cut it. I don't think we're going to manage to get it. But I'll try. I'll certainly try. Yeah, I think trying to fit six in there is probably pushing it a little bit. Because as you'll see, look, just... It's got to at least come up to the edge of here to look really, really good. And that means we'd have to fill in all that with what we have. And I'm not entirely sure we'd manage that, but... Could be wrong. I think it'll fit. I do. I really do think it'll fit. But I think what we'll probably have to do is I'm going to have to get all this screwed in and all down because this isn't in its final resting position. That's got to go back against the wall you know, when we cut those checks out. And I might even shave a bit more off just so we can really definitely get both bikes in here quite safely, you know. That would be really good. Because so what will happen is I'll try and get the fire blade and the bandit in here and I'll say, why would I wish I cut the back of that cabinet off? You know, because the, the, the toolboxes aren't actually... The, oh, now hold on, hold on, hold on. Chemical toilet. That's why we've got that, haven't we? Definitely. Right, I think I'll have to pick a chemical toilet we're going to have and get it for there, eh? Right, so that side there, guys, is pretty much going to be one big shower tray, non-slip shower tray, for Herbie 1 and maybe the next horse as well. Um, but over this side is what I'm just going to focus on. But yeah, so now we're down, you know, once we get on to that, the next video, um, is for fluids. And I'm wanting to have fluids up on here. Now the only concern I've got with that is, you know, if we did have an accident, and Herbie's in here, I mean, all this stuff will be lashed down. There's no way any of this will open and stuff flying out. And even that, but, you know, if it even went worse with a fire, you know what I mean? So I'll have to have a wee think about that one, I think, eh? And of course, up top on that metal bar is going to be where the winch is going to go to winch this door up and down actually as well, but to haul the bikes up and into the lorry, which will be aces. But I've got a feeling he's put them in there for a reason. So I might just take out that middle one and we'll see what we'll do up there. But I need to get this bit done first. Once this is all done, I'll be, I'll be happy. So Emily and Mum are coming to pick me up for my supper, you guys. I just had crisps. Let's have got all the hard for supper, so I need another supper. But they're not far away. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to have to leave Jessica up here in the field tonight because there's too much loose and it'll just sort of swing around and go all over the place. So that means in this next video, I'll absolutely have to get this totally done. And, you know, just, just this part here to just make sure we're, we're sorted.